If you have already started learning programming, you must be familiar with if else block. So it doesn't matter which language you use, most of the programming languages that beginners learn has if and else block. Now if you are learning Python, today I am going to present an interesting fact to you that you can also use else with for block. So you must be wondering what it is because usually beginners don't encounter this though this is mentioned in the Python documentation. So let's see how we can use else block in for loop. So let's look at an example whether we, where we want to check if a number is prime or not. Say n is an integer which is 101 and we know that it is prime. So when I was learning programming almost 20, 21 years back, so I, I used to have a flag like this so the flag is true and then I shall try to divide n from each number I in range from 2 to n minus 1 if n mod i is equal to 0 which means if n is divisible by i then we just break otherwise we shall continue and here as the flag is true I shall make the flag is false here and if flag is true then we shall print prime else we shall print not prime so let's try to run this program and see what happens so the number 101 is prime and if it's 102 then it's not prime. So using flag is fine but some of you might notice that we actually don't need the flag. So if it breaks it means the value of i didn't reach to n. Before reaching to n the loop uh, entered in this condition and due, due to this break statement it got out of the loop. So we can just check if i is equal to n it means the loop never entered here so it's prime otherwise it's not prime so let's run this program and 102 is not prime 101 it's 101 should be prime so let's see what's wrong here so i in range to n mod i so Basically, I think it doesn't work like this um, because in Py so in other languages it would be something very similar to this, but in Python, so it i doesn't be i is not equal to n. So if you can just print the value of i, you can see that the i is 100. Then how how did the program came out of this for loop? Because there is stop iteration exception which is thrown when you reach at the end of the range and then Python knows that it's time to get out of the for loop. But that's not the point of this video. So what, what I just wanted to show you is you can actually use an else block here that if i n mod i 0 then break and else and you can actually just print here that it's prime, no, not prime else you can print prime. So here it means that when we uh, reach the stop iteration exception which means that we have iterated through every element of this range and there is no more iteration left then we can use an else block with this for and then we shall we can we can execute whatever we want here. So let's see what happens if we run this program. So 101 is prime, 17 is prime, but 18 is not prime. Yeah, so this is the thing that I wanted to show you that with for block you can use else. And this is something beginners, especially who are coming from other programming languages, they miss. But this is an interesting but very less frequently used feature in Python. But you can uh, use it whenever you want.
so that's what i wanted to show you today and i shall see you another day with something interesting about python